Hey, this is Matt with Thrive Off Grid. All right, guys, so today um, I'm going to show you how I built my DIY uh, parallel kit. Um, I ended up picking up a second uh, 9500 uh, for a shop with the intention to uh, get the parallel kit to tie these two together. And, uh, after doing some research, I found a couple YouTube videos of guys uh, DIYing um, their kit and uh, doing some research trying to find the cables they used. Um, I found them at Northern Tool, but they're on back order for a couple months. Um, so that wasn't an option. And uh, the DIY videos that I did find um, were kind of vague on how they uh, built their kit. So I'm going to show you how I did mine and try to be a little more clear on, on how I did it. Okay, so the first thing I did is I, uh, I pulled the panel on, on the uh, 9500 to see how the, the parallel ports are wired inside. And it turns out that they are wired directly into the legs of the 220 um, electrical. Um, so you really actually don't even need them. Um, you can just uh, uh, create a plug and create a Y cable and, and tie them together into one and it'll, it'll work just the same. Alright, so, so basically the, the generators have uh, um, a self-detecting mode. When you, when you first fire them up, they kind of think a little bit. And I think that's where they're they're syncing, you know, reading uh, an input voltage and then syncing to it and then then outputting. I think that's how it works. But um, if you are if you're watching this and you have an in-depth uh, understanding of how these work, please comment in the comments and enlighten us. But I'm pretty sure that's how how it works. All right. So I got when I first built this, I just had the two. Um, the two legs coming in the, into this box and I got to looking at this 8750 here which doesn't have the parallel ports and it doesn't seem logical to me that they would have they build all these other generators with parallel capability and have this one inverter generator that doesn't have the ability so I was willing to bet that this thing is actually parallel capable they just uh cut some cost and didn't didn't uh, install the the port ports on here now the reason they would probably you know the reason they're doing this is so because you know these if you unplug them they're live so they're not going to sell you something like this because if somebody comes along and unplugs this these are going to get are going to be live and somebody could get electrocuted so that being said if you build this you're doing this at your own risk so this is just how I did it I'm showing you how I did it but you know if you do it um, you know I'm not liable <laughs> so you are doing you are building this at your own your own risk um, all right so I'm gonna show you um, how this thing's wired all right so I guess we'll go over the part so Basically, I got two, um, you know, to do it, just do the Y cable, you're going to need uh, the twist locks that fit the generator. So, I got two, two twist locks, some 12 gauge four, four, uh, four wire cable, and then a 50 amp um, receptacle for, for four wire. Alright, so... I'm going to show you a, a three wire version of this. So yeah, I've seen the other guys doing this and they're splicing cables together and and that's uh, kind of a pain in the butt because to do splices this big you actually need uh, special tools to do that. So if you go to a receptacle like this, these terminals are plenty big enough to, to fit you know, three 12 gauge wires into. I mean, you could probably go four even. 
and uh, you know you got these big lugs that really crank down on them so you'll have good connections you know you don't need amp meters and all that stuff you, that's just overkill so but this here is the the four wire version so you got your two you got your two hots the, um, hot, you got your lead one two your common which is here and then your your ground all right so now if you have a sharpie you can uh, basically match your plug so if you take it take if you got your new plug just take it and plug it in if you got an amp or a, a multimeter all right so you can hear that right all right so if I go to my black so I found it it's not there it's not here there. All right, so I'm gonna take a black sharpie and I'm just gonna mark it. So I know my my black lead needs to go there. Now this cable that I was telling you about, this four wire cable is already color coded: um, red, black, white, and green for brown. All right, so we got the uh, the black figured out. So now I'm gonna go to the red, and that should be this guy here. So we found our red. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. So I'm gonna mark that red. All right. So and basically, you don't need to figure anything out. Or you don't have to mark it because your your green is already going to be um, labeled for, or your ground is already going to be marked. Um, but just for kicks, we'll uh, do the your common. So the top one is going to be your common, and then that's also tied to ground. But if you want to keep it a true four wire, then you're going to want to do you know your uh, and do a four wire cable all right so you got everything marked so now all you gotta do is just uh, you know follow your color code and then when you get to this guy you just combine your you know your reds together and uh, you know if you're gonna keep it um, the way the the plug is over on the generator your your red would be here your black would be here or no actually I got this upside down so your ground would be on the bottom, common is on top, so black and then red. And that's basically it. And you're gonna you just need the the plug side and you wire it the same way and you should be good to go. Alright, so I'm gonna fire these guys up and then uh we'll just uh, show you that you know it's working in, in the shop because I have the this is uh plugged in to the the shop here and I'm gonna fire all three units up but I'm gonna start with uh, the 8750 just in case this doesn't have um, actual um, sensing um, if the if it's the 9500 then the 9500s are gonna sync with the, the 8750 but I've actually done it the other way where I fired them up first and then the 8750 and I it, it didn't I didn't have any problem and these controllers are really sensitive, so if there is something off, they, these things will fall out immediately. So I'm pretty sure it's working, and you know everything in the shop's working. So I think it it, uh, it is uh, syncing with uh, the other the other generators. But again, you know you're doing this, especially if you do the 8750, you're doing it at your own risk. I hope somebody else does uh, pick up two of them under warranty and give it a try, and. Uh, I'll, I'll, That'd be pretty cool to see. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead. 
Sorry, I just, I'm not scripted here, so. <laughs> just kind of doing this on the fly. So I'm going to the 8750 up. It's going to get loud, so. So as you can see, we got lights on in here. And I'll just turn on a die grinder. This is kind of... got a welder here this has got a you know a controller built inside so if we had bad uh, bad power this, that thing would probably be smoked already all right guys so that's basically it so yeah you can uh, you can run more than just two generators together um, they're gonna sink sink to one two four three four five whatever you pretty much go go endless as long as your as long as your system can handle the the amperage. Though I mean, if you go go too many of these, you could easily uh, you know, start frying cables. So be careful. That's it. All right. So the next video, I'm going to be running uh, the 9500 and the 8750 off a gasifier in tandem. So that video is coming up next. So anyways guys, I hope this was informative.